Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith, thank you so much for being here. Today I am testing out a ton of new makeup products. I'm so excited for this video. I can't wait to dive into these. This is all first impressions. I have new makeup from L'Oreal, Glossier, Siate London, Buxom, a bunch of brands came out with new products recently and I'm so excited to give them all a try. So we're gonna hop right into it, but first, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave here if you like what you see. And also hit that notification bell as well. That will give you a notification every time I upload a video. But yeah, let's hop into testing some new makeup. Okay, we're going to start with foundation. I actually did already apply a primer. I didn't have a new primer to try. I just used the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. But for our first new product, I am testing out the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I have seen this all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and I wanted to try it. So I have not used this at all yet. I just picked this up actually this morning. I hope the shade's right. I chose 420, which is beige, true beige. I think I'm just going to pump it on the back of my hand very runny. You can see it like running down there. I do like when foundations are pretty liquidy like that. I just like to put it on the back of my hand so I can warm it up and then pinpoint apply it to my face where I need the most coverage, which is mostly like towards the center of my face. It does have a fragrance, kind of like flowery but like alcohol. So I hope this isn't too drying. It's a breathable, buildable coverage, up to 24 hour fresh complexion foundation. Let's blend this out and see here. I think the shade I picked is definitely perfect. It doesn't say if it's supposed to be matte or dewy or just like natural. I think this is kind of like a natural finish. And right now, I am just working with the two pumps that I put on the back of my hand. It's giving me like medium coverage. It says it's buildable though, so I might go in with like a third pump. Now keep in mind, I do have pretty dry skin. So like on me, it looks a little dry like in this area, but I could probably fix that by mixing it with an oil or something like that. All in all though, my first impressions just upon applying is that it applies really nicely and it gives the skin like a nice evenness. Um, it's blending out really nicely. I think I still prefer my L'Oreal Pro Glow, which is obviously more of a dewy finish. If you want more of like a natural finish, this is a really good option. I'm going to take one more pump and just put that like right on the cheek area where I'm still seeing some redness. I'm kind of surprised that there is such a strong fragrance in it because I don't think the L'Oreal Pro Glow has a fragrance. Yeah, it has no fragrance. So I'm not used to that in a L'Oreal foundation. I'm not a huge fan of fragrances in foundations or honestly any product because I do kind of have sensitive skin. It's not the worst I've ever experience like it's not so intense that it's bothering me it's just definitely there it definitely builds up nicely not a bad foundation by any means it just might not be the best if you're really dry okay i did not have a new concealer or powders but just so you are aware of what i used i used the tarte shape tape and then i used the maybelline fit me loose powder under the eyes then to set my entire face, you guys know this these steps, I do this all the time in my videos. I just use the Bare Minerals Foundation Powder and I used the Becca Bronzer today. This is the Panama Sun. Now virtually everything else I'm going to use today is new. So let's dive into some new blushes. I have these here from Lati London, which I believe is a brand that's associated with Ciate London, which I also have some new products from them as well. But these are their Blush Crush Blushers. I have this one here, the shade is Zac, and this one is Drake. I'm going to use Drake today. I just 
like this shade it's kind of peachy and neutral they just look like this they have a little mirror inside really cute it looks like there is some sort of a sheen to it nice pigment it's very pretty it's subtle at first but you can easily build it up and there is the slightest bit of like a sheen to it but not as much as like the Milani baked blushes that you guys know I love it's a little bit softer than that but I actually like it because if you have texture on your cheek area but you still want a little bit of a glow I think you could get away with this whereas with the Milani ones it kind of shows off texture so I like the color I think it's really pretty I'm just gonna take some over the nose yeah I like that everything will be linked down below of course as well so if you're interested in checking these out and prices and things like that everything is always linked down below I also have another new product from Lati London this is their arch rival it's a brow product it's like a four pronged brush it like creates little tiny little lines and so it's supposed to look like microblading I think I also have another new brow product that I might combine with this because this is probably really good for like the front of the brow but I don't know how good it is at creating an arch I have a new pencil as well this is from Mia Adora and this is the on point brow micro tip brow definer this is what it looks like it's just a super super fine tip and it has a spoolie at the end so I'm gonna try both of these together today but I'm just gonna start with the front of the brow with this product here and just create a little oh I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see this better so it creates little like hairs you actually can use it to fill in a little bit I don't know I think you kind of need a pencil to go along with this unless you have really nice brows and maybe just a couple sparse areas but my entire brow is sparse so I'm definitely going to go in with that brow pencil as well but I do like the little hair like strokes it's creating I'm going to fill in my brows how I normally would but with this Mia Adora pencil I really like this color. It's nice and dark. This is Cocoa Coffee. The only thing I don't love on this is the spoolie. It's kind of like rough. I prefer the spoolie on my L'Oreal Brow Stylist, but it's not a huge issue. I think that looks really good and really super defined. I'm going to go back in with this little guy and just create some more hair-like strokes towards the front. What do you guys think? It's a strong brow today. I don't think I normally use something this dark, but I kind of like it. It does match my hair a little better. Sometimes I feel like my brows are just slightly too light. So I'll actually just keep you guys zoomed in here since I am going to do eyeshadow next. And how cute is this packaging? This is new from Seate London. It's their Jessica Rabbit collection. So this is their eyeshadow palette. I always I always love their eyeshadow palettes, but they're so hard to open for me. I don't know why, but they are always so gorgeous. So here is what it looks like. And in the collection also comes a highlight, which I might test out, and a lip product. I don't think I'm going to use the lip product because I have something else I want to try, but this is what comes with it. I just wanted to show you guys. It's like a glittery red. But jumping into the eyeshadow palette, I think first I'm just going to take this shade here in the crease. This is called Carrot Cake. Ciate London palettes are a little pricey. I'm pretty sure for this, which has nine shades in it, it's like $40 or something like that. So they are pricier, but their shadows are typically really, really nice. I'm not sure if it was their last release, but the last palette I got from Ciate London was their Glitter Storm palette, and I did do a video on that palette if you guys want to check it out. There was like three pressed glitters that were so intense. You didn't even need a glitter glue. Okay, I kind of have to figure out what color story I'm going for. I do like how they have it organized because you could kind of just go up this row and do a look, up this purple row, do a look, or then up this like neutral row, or you could mix and match in between. But I'm kind of drawn to... The reds and the golds, I don't really want to do purple. I think I just did purple or 
in a video coming up I do purple so I'm not gonna do purple again. I do wish there was a darker matte shade to like deepen up the crease because these are the only three mattes. The rest are shimmers. So that's kind of tricky. I guess we're not really gonna have a deep look. It's gonna look a little more natural, but that's okay. I'm just really drawn to this love letter shade. It's like a red shimmer. So let's try it. I'm just gonna pack it on my lid. That is kind of underwhelming. There is really not much pigment coming off. I'm like pressing in here with my finger. Maybe I should use a brush. It almost feels creamy. It's kind of weird. I'm going to take it on a brush and see if that's better. I just always assume that shimmers are better with your finger, but maybe not. Oh yeah, that's going on way better. I don't know. I'm still not like loving it. I'm going to go over top of that with this gold shade drawn this way and see how we like that. That's pretty. I like that a little better. It's just toning it down and giving it a little bit more of like a glisten. I don't know. That red was almost more of a satin finish even though it looked like it was supposed to be glittery. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush into carrot cake and just blend the edges. You guys, I don't really like this palette, I have to be honest. <laughs> it makes me sad. Now obviously I have not tried any of the purple shades, so I'll have to get back to you guys on that, but I'm just letting you know my first impression is not, not the best. Um, and what do I take under my lash line? I guess I'm just gonna take this shade here. It is kind of shimmery, but Okay, and that's about all I feel I can do with that palette. A little underwhelmed, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to do liner, and I may have used this once. I don't really remember. I definitely have not used it on camera. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Eyeliner. It's just a liquid liner. You're supposed to shake it before you use it. I'm just going to apply a tiny line across. Not a wing or anything, but I am going to be applying false lashes, so I want something to conceal that lash band. I do like it. I wish it was a little bit more th like thin and precise. It doesn't get down to a super tiny point, but so far it's okay. Okay, and I just need a dark black or brown to go over that. There isn't one in that eyeshadow palette we just used. So I'm just going to use this from Morphe. This is the 25B palette. There's a bunch of like dark chocolate shades. So I'm just going to take the darkest one with an eyeliner brush and go over that just to set it, make sure it lasts, and just also make it look a little bit more natural. I even do this when I do do a wing as well. Just makes it last and it just makes it look more seamless. Before I apply lashes, I do have a new mascara to try. This is from Artistry Studio. This brand I am not all that familiar with. They sent me a bunch of stuff in PR. I think they're French, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is their 3-in-1 Lash Boosting Mascara. I love their packaging. It's super cute. It's made in Italy. I don't know if they're French or Italian. I'm not really sure. The weirdest thing has been happening with my lashes. This eye, the lashes are growing so long and thick, and this eye just is not. I don't know what's happening. And I sleep on this side, so I would have thought the side I slept on and like smashed my face on would be the one that doesn't grow, but I sleep on this side. This mascara is nice. I have no complaints. Okay, I have some lashes to apply. These are just from Amazon. I have not tried these yet. I will try to find them and link them down below. It was kind of a while ago, but I think everything on my Amazon, like, you know, you can go back in your old orders. It's saved, so I should be able to find it for you guys. They kind of look like Demi Wispies, but like a little bit thicker. So we're just gonna apply these and see if we like them. I love these lashes. I absolutely promise you I will find them and link them down below. I love them. They're like the perfect length for my eyes. Sometimes 
I don't know, I feel like my eyes aren't that big and lashes can look really big and dramatic on me. These are like the perfect thickness, the perfect length. I love them. Moving on to highlight. This is probably what I am most excited for in this video. I have one of the new products from the Glossier Play line. This is a new line that Glossier came out with. It's colorful, it's fun, and this is one of their liquid highlighters. It's a highlighter concentrate. Nightshine is what it's called. Is that the shade or? I'm not totally sure. I haven't even opened this yet. It comes in very strange packaging. So this is what it looks like. How cute. Oh no, the shade is Pale Pearl. This is the lightest shade they have and it's just their highlighter concentrate from Glossier Play. So, oh good, it has a little applicator. Oh, it's a cute little doe foot applicator and this is a glass bottle too. It's really nice. So I think I'm just gonna dab it on there and tap it out with my finger. Let's just see if that works. Oh my goodness. This is nice and intense. It is not sticky at all, which I love, but it's also not oily. I feel like with liquid highlights, they're either sticky and tacky or they're like oily and mess up and break up your makeup. <gasps> I love this. So pretty. Let's layer it up. I'm obsessed with this. I do still want to try the highlight from Ciate London. So maybe I'll do that on this side. This is their, obviously their Jessica Rabbit collection still. This is Roger Darling is the name of it. So I have the hardest time opening their packaging. Why? This is what it looks like. It has Jessica Rabbit's little face imprinted on there. I'm gonna take this brush from Sigma. It's nice and compact, packs a punch. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Ciate London just redeemed themselves from that eyeshadow palette. This highlight is gorgeous. Both are gorgeous. They're kind of similar. This one's a little more gold. And obviously it's a powder, but it doesn't look powdery by any means. And this one's a little more subtle, but like kind of pinky. I'm actually going to top the Glossier one with the Jessica Rabbit highlight and see how we like that. So pretty. Oh, I love that. I'm going to dab a little of the Glossier on this side just so that I match. I'm also going to take some on my nose. Boop. Oh my gosh, I love both of these highlighters so much. Cupid's bow. I'm going to put some of this in my inner corner as well. Brow bone, why not? Oh my gosh, you guys, this highlight is so pretty. I just hate how hard it is to open the package, but wow. So I was sent this from Buxom, which is so cool. I love Buxom as a brand. I used to use their Venus Glow or something like that as a primer. I did that a lot. I think I just ran out and haven't repurchased it. They're actually owned by Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals, so I didn't know that until recently. But they just came out with a bunch of limited edition shades of their plumping lip cream. So I think they're just like tinted these colors. I don't think it's like a full on blue lip color, but it's just like a glossy cream that plumps. And then they also sent me their plumping lip liners, which I don't think these are limited edition. These you can get all the time. These are limited edition. So I'm first going to line my lips with one of these plump line lip liners. I think I'm going to use the shade either Hush Hush or Confidential. It has like a little brush on the end maybe to like buff it out. This is Confidential. It's kind of bright. I wanted something more neutral. Hush Hush is gonna be my shade, okay? I've never used these. I don't know if there's like a weird plumping sensation. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I think it's tingling a little bit. 
I'm actually going to take the shade White Russian. It's a lighter shade right there. But I'm just going to go over that because it's like a little dark for me. These are the shades. This one is White Russian, which is their very famous lip gloss as well. I'm going to try that one just because I use the White Russian lip liner and I think it'll go well. So, oh yeah, there's the tinkle. Oh my gosh, do my lips look like pretty plump? I feel like they do. And the tingling is not like intense. I've had some lip plumpers, like I can't think of which one it was, but they're like really intense and it kind of burns. This isn't burning, it's just like a hmm, minty, tingly, like sort of. I love this. So this is the finished makeup look of all of my first impressions, testing new makeup. I think all in all, I really love how the look turned out. There were some products that stood out more to me than others. Like, I was kind of so-so on the foundation, although I do think my skin looks really good. I think if you have more combo skin or like a little oily, you'll probably like this a little bit more. I'm just so dry. But I think it's a good foundation. I'm just like kind of neutral on it. I really did not love the Ciate London eyeshadow palette, unfortunately. Um, but I'm obsessed with these lashes. I do like how my brows turned out. I think that this micro blady pen from Lati London is really cool. Um, I don't think you can just use this alone. I think you need some sort of pencil to go with it. That pencil I used from Mia Adora is good. I do like it. Um, but what really stood out to me was definitely the highlighting products, both of these guys. The lip products for sure. And these eyelashes. I'm obsessed with them. Let me know what you guys thought. What was your favorite new product that I tried? What are you dying to try? I, of course, will link everything down below if you want to check anything out. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. I love you all so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!